It's time for Fin Friday Camping Edition. For those of you that are new to this channel, this is Shelby, that is Oakley, that is Memphis, and today is Fan Friday. Fan Friday is the day where we answer questions submitted by you guys, the fans. But today, for Fan Friday, we only took questions from our audience Facebook group, which there will be a link to that down in the video description below, and they are all camping questions since as of the day you guys are seeing this we're actually on our way for a six day long camping trip in the upper peninsula of michigan so let's get to these questions the first question comes from josh a josh a wants to know if we have any tips for keeping the dog settled at night especially if it's their first time camping well if you exercise them a ton during the day while you're camping, that will help. You want to wear them out. Definitely take them on all the hikes along with you. Walk around the campground. Let them take in all of those smells, all of that fun. And they should sleep pretty good, even if it's their first time camping. Another thing you can do, bring a couple of toys that smell like them and smell like your house. And also bring a bed that they may have used. So they have something familiar besides just you. They have more familiar smells that they're really recognizing while they're camping. You can also use all natural calming treats. We have used Therabis on Oakley and it really works really well. So you could try that or you can go to your local pet store and find some all natural calming treats. Shelby, are you eating an acorn? You weirdo. Elizabeth says, we do a lot of camping with our two dogs and our ferrets and ticks have become a really bad problem. What do you guys use and what has seemed to work? Well, the number one thing for keeping ticks away from your dogs besides repellent is do not walk on overgrown trails. Keep your dogs on the groomed trails in the center of the path. Yes, this means a little bit less exploring for them, but it also means hopefully you won't get ticks. Ticks tend to hide in taller grasses and taller plants, so if there's a nice groomed walking trail, that's really the trail you want to stay on. We use, the dogs are all on Vectra 3D, which I've used for years and has always worked amazing. And we also use Wonderside, almost like, a, are you really eating that acorn? Almost like a backup. Uh, I can put an affiliate link to Wonderside down in the video description below. It's a really nice spray. I actually also spray it all around the campsite when we get there and like the mat that they lay on and stuff just to kind of keep the bugs at bay. And it smells amazing. Victoria wants to know, what's the benefit between a picket line versus a temporary runner? For those of you that have been around for a while, you know that we use a four dog drop line picket line for our dogs. Yes, even though we only have three dogs, four dogs was the smallest the picket line came in. The reason we use that over a runner is it causes them to not be able to get tangled. They can't get tangled around picnic tables and trees and people. Yes, it's a short line, but we do a lot of things while camping, so it's not like they're just tied to the line the entire time we're there. I believe it's safer. I think that the tie out lines and the runner lines are easier to get tangled and easier to injure people. If you've ever had one of those things wrap around your leg when a dog has decided to run towards something, that is not a fun experience. That is why we choose the picket line over a temporary runner line. Side note, if you guys want to order a picket line, down in the video description of every video, we have a link to alpineoutfitters.net and a coupon code. Yes, you have to enter the entire super long coupon code to get your 10% off, but that is where we get our picket line for camping. <laughs> Apparently acorns are fun today. So Nancy had a great question. How do you manage Oakley as far as activities like hikes? Do you take her along or does she sometimes stay behind? With her age, is she able to do such activities? So you guys should know by now that one of the things we do is we definitely are always aware of what our dogs can and can't do. Oakley can walk really, really well. Uh, especially if it's level ground. If it's up and down hills, it's a little bit harder for her, but she really does enjoy walking and getting her moving is a very good thing. So yeah, we pretty much take her on all of the trips. If we know that the trail is a bit more treacherous or a lot of up and down hills or a lot of rocks, if we don't think it's something she can do, usually honestly what happens is I'll take these two and my husband will sit in the car with Oakley or I'll sit in the car with Oakley and he'll take these two. And we basically just take turns if we have to. It's not very often that act, that, that actually happens, but we have done it before. If somebody has to sit back with Oakley, you know, she's our dog. We have to do what's comfortable for her. So yes, sometimes that does happen. And that's kind of how life is with a senior dog. We very, very, very rarely will leave them in the camper alone. 
a lot of times it's usually like if we both are on a run and take a shower real quick we might leave them in the camper alone but we'll actually set up our phones like the drop cam system so we can see what's going on while we're gone but most of the time we camp with other people so if we do have to leave them at the campsite there's usually friends of ours that are there to keep an eye on them just in case but yes we do change a lot of what we do based on the age of our dogs and the abilities of what they do and we also try to plan our camping trips around knowing that Oakley's not going to be able to do a five mile hike through the woods like these girls might be able to do. Samantha had another great question. How do you handle bathroom breaks while you're traveling? We usually make plans to stop about every two hours and actually Shelby and Memphis can make it much longer than that. Sometimes we only let Oakley out. Oakley, usually about every two hours we have to make sure that she goes outside and goes to the bathroom. But we do try to stop about every two hours to let them out to go to the bathroom or every time we stop for gas. So even if it's a little bit less time, we make sure that they don't have to go out. Yes, you do have to stop a lot more when traveling with pets. Kind of like traveling with kids. Emily wants to know if it's hard to go camping with three dogs and if we are prepared if Oakley bloats during the camping trip. Yes, I actually have a DIY dog first aid kit and bloat kit. I will put a link up in the cards and down in the video description below to that video so you guys can see how to make your own and what I keep in mind. I also contact veterinarians in and around the area, usually a couple of them, and find out when their emergency hours are. Just in case something happens, I have the phone numbers of the emergency vets in case we need to call them. Like the closest emergency vet is actually going to be closed on Monday, but there's one about 35 miles away that will be open. So I made sure to have both of their phone numbers. Is it hard to travel and go camping with all three of them? I mean, it's work, but at the end of the day, when they're exhausted and they've had so much fun camping, it's totally worth it. Look, Shelby heard me say camping. Want to go camping? Pretty soon, honey. Pretty soon. Actually, by the time you guys watch this, we'll be camping. <gasps> We got some mail, we got some mail, let's open up the mail. We got some Yeti dog chews from George. Maybe we should take those camping with us. This is a late Shelby birthday gift from Madison. All these were for Shelby for her birthday from Valerie. And Valerie wants to know if we can make DIY Oreos. We already have. So this box is from Rosie in the UK and this is a hand crocheted raccoon by her mom for Miss Oakley. Oh, yep. Yep. Oakley's like this. This is mine. Is a raccoon? This is <laughs> How cute is that? There's a whole bunch of other stuff in here. Let me pull it all out. So this was also in there. This don't don't lick it. This is a hand painted clay bust of Shiloh. That is so cool. That is going to have to go up on the shelf with the rest of our Shiloh stuff. That's awesome. I love it. And then all of this is from, how did you know that was for you, Oakley? Because it was a raccoon? All of this is from Piper. And Piper wants to know if I have a favorite movie. Yes, it's Nightmare Before Christmas. And do you go camping a lot? Maybe in Wisconsin. We're actually going to be camping very close to Wisconsin this weekend. How many times a day does Oakley nap? Almost all of the day. <laughs> and then all of these drawings are from Bella. And Bella wants to know what the best treats for dogs are. Our dogs like fish treats a lot. We got a happy birthday to Shelby from Sophia. A drawing from Amelia. A letter from Ella. These pictures were sent from Shannon. And Shannon, I just want to say, if you're going through financial hardships right now, maybe you should wait just a little bit more time before you invest in a puppy, because puppies can be very expensive. Things can happen very quickly, and sometimes vet bills can add up really fast. So maybe just hold out a few more months till you get back on track. This is from Krisha, and Krisha wants to know why Oakley goes crazy more than the other dogs. I think because the other dogs go crazy outside, and they just don't do couch zoomies. I think Oakley's couch zoomies are just more noticeable. A drawing from Sawyer. This is from Billy and Chanel. These are all from Rachel. These are from Ava. We got a letter from Courtney, and Courtney wants to know if we have any other animals. Nope, just the outside animals. Squirrel friend and skunk friend that living across the street. <laughs> This is from Samantha. This is from, I hope I say this name right, Hanya. I hope I said it right. With some awesome drawings and a photo. All right, you guys, that is all we have for Fan Friday today. Thanks so much for watching. Thanks for subscribing. If you are excited about our camping trip and you want to see it in full, 
be sure to head on over to youtube.com slash snowdogsvlogs as pretty much every day of camping will be uploaded over there. We of course will have a short version of those videos uploaded here as well for you to enjoy. But if you want to see the long form ones, ones, head on over there and check it out. Uh, uh, yeah, as of right now, we should be on the road to the campground. So this should be super fun. I'm super excited. All right, you guys, as always, if you are new to this channel and you like what you saw, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, like this video, and share it with your friends to help us grow the audience. As always, thanks so much for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Stay positive, dream big, and we will see you again soon. Goodbye, audience. Happy camping. Down to the snow, down to the